Hydrogen Horizon Automotive Challenge, uh, or H2AC, is an immersive STEM program, four months long. Uh, the students start off with what is climate change, how does it impact ecosystems and societies around the world. Uh, it leads into what are uh, the reasons for climate change, the students do some research, they do some debating, then it segues into what is renewable energies. The students learn about what are different types of renewable energy technologies and look at what are the problems with renewable energy as well, energy storage, right? They look at various different energy storage technologies, come down to hydrogen and fuel cells, then they do design, prototyping and building of their own solution, which is a miniature car. It's a 1 to 10 scale RC car which they build, they improve upon, and then they come together and race it against other schools. Here we got 20 schools going on. NSTA is in Los Angeles this year. The Southern uh, California is the area where hydrogen infrastructure is being built. And since we are doing the Hydrogen Horizon Automotive Challenge, we're highlighting what is happening with hydrogen infrastructure and fuel cell cars. It's a perfect setting for us to reach out, show what we're doing, and also get people excited about it. Well, participants are the students, right? And apart from uh, the learnings that we just went through, anything from climate change all the way down to designing of a car, coefficient of drag or, or energy efficiency of the car, strategies for, for refueling and those kind of things, they also learn a lot of other kind of uh, skills that are important. Anything from project management, team leadership, uh, making sure that they can work on software and hardware tinkering skills, all these kind of different skills that are important for an employer. We have a lot of educators coming to visit us and asking just that uh, possibility, how can I get involved, how can I get my classroom involved with this? Uh, please get in contact with us. We do have uh, conversations about other places in Europe that we would be setting up the H2AC challenge as well, so uh, feel free to contact us.